Hello and welcome back to one more episode of Quantum Tutorials. In this episode, let us understand about what is this decision model notation and what is the purpose of decision model notation standards. We will also look at an example of creating a simple decision model notation for loan processing application. A decision model notation shortly known as DMN is a standard established by object management group. This is for describing and modeling operational decisions. So using the DMN standard, you are not restricted to a particular software product because there are several software products that support DMN standards. In DMN, decisions can be modeled and executed using the same language. Business analysts can model the rules that lead to a decision in easy to read tables. And then those tables can be executed directly by a decision engine. This also minimizes the risk of misunderstanding between business analysts and developers and it even allows rapid changes in the production. DMN as a standard is young but it is developed by people having decades of experience with business rule management. Even though the standard does not dictate any special implementation patterns allowing for more modern and lightweight implementations than the traditional business rule engines. So without further ado, let us look at how to create a decision model notation with an example. In this example, we are going to create a decision model notation which will take two input parameters, age and credit rating. And it will give us a decision whether we can approve a loan or do we have to reject the loan application. Open this Cogito web based business modeler preview tool and click on create new decision model. Give a name for your DML. Here are some options provided by this tool using which you can create your model. Let's define the input parameters for our DMN. Use the DMN input data element. Drag and drop the element onto the canvas and define the properties for the element. I'm changing the name of the element. Select the element and on the right hand side, you will be able to see the properties option using which you can define other properties for this element. I am changing the data type for this element as number. Let's define one more input parameter. Change the name. and define the data type. I am defining the data type for the second input parameter credit rating as string. So I will get the input for this credit rating parameter as high or low indicating whether the user who is submitting the loan application is maintaining a high credit rating or low credit rating. Select one of these input parameters and there are multiple options around this input parameter. We will use this create DMN decision option and we will create a decision element on the canvas. 
select the option and drag it around to create this decision element on the canvas. Let's change the properties of the decision element. I'm changing the name of the decision element as final decision. And link the second input parameter to the decision element. Select the second input parameter and choose this option create DMN information requirement and drag that arrow onto the decision element. So now we have the two input parameters age and credit rating are being sent to the decision element and we'll have to define the rules inside this decision element now. Select the decision element and click on edit. So this is where you will be able to define the decision element. Click on the select expression and you will see number of options using which you can create your decision element. To start with, let's use the simple decision table type of decision. So we are defining the logic for our decision by using the decision table type. As you can see here, we have the two input parameters age and credit rating and the output parameter final decision. Let's define the data type for our output element. So I am defining the data type as string. So as part of this final decision, I will be returning either approved or rejected as the output. So let's define the rules for our decision. Each row that we have in this decision table define the rule. For example, I want to define if the age value is greater than or equal to 21 and if the credit rating is high, then I would like to output as approved. So I want to approve a loan application. So each row in this decision table will define a condition. So let's define another condition. If the credit rating is low, even though the age is greater than or equal to 21, if the credit rating is low, I want to reject the application. In any other scenario, if the age is less than 21, either the credit rating is high or low, we want to reject the loan application. So now we have defined our decision table. Each row in the decision table is a condition that will get evaluated for the input parameters that we send and the final decision will be given as the output. Let us test this DML. So we are able to create the DML in very easy steps. So using this DMN runner, you will be able to run this DMN that you have just now created. If you are using this Cosito browser tool for the first time, then you will have to download the DMN runner and you will have to execute the DMN runner. So I have already set up the DMN runner. So click on this DMN runner and you will be able to see this options where you can provide the values for the age and credit rating input parameters and you will be able to see what is the decision that is given as an output by the DMN that you have defined. I am giving the age value as 21 and credit rating as low so the output that we are getting is rejected.
So, as per the decision that we have defined, if the age is greater than or equal to 21 and the credit rating is high, then the final decision is approved. So, if the age is less than 21, irrespective of the credit rating, so we would give the final decision as rejected. So, this is how you can define a simple DMN and you will be able to execute and verify the results of your DMN.